Hello day, this is Richard Spirit's Garden, and this is Death Smiles 1 and 2 on Nintendo's lovely Switch console. Well, let's get straight into it. Uh, we've got a language select selection. I'm slightly drunk. Language selection screen. Cave have something to do with this. They're the original developer. C Connection have something to do with this. They convert lots of games to the Switch. And Zero Div have something to do with this. I don't know what it is they do. But here we go. Here's a title screen where you can select one of two games. I believe my version of this game is a Japanese copy. And if it isn't, um, I'm confused why you had Japanese language on the title screen. But as a package, you get a instruction book inside and a postcard, which is nice. It's not often you get actual paper inside your Switch games. Uh, when you start the game, your screen is set to a tiny little portion in the middle of the display because it's one-to-one -one pixel ratio. And I believe we're playing the arcade here. See, look at that tiny little window. Mm. It's because it's like an old school uh, sprite based game. But you can zoom in, you can zoom in here. Um, I've got this game on the Xbox 360 as a special edition, came with a soundtrack. It was dandy, I enjoyed it loads. I don't really have an Xbox 360 at the moment. I've still got the game, but I can't play it. So I thought, you know what? I'll treat myself to Death Smiles. It's only 20, sort of 23 quid at the moment. I'll get it on the Switch. Because uh, I miss me a bit of Death Smiles, and I've never played Death Smiles too, so I was interested. But Death Smiles is a quality shoe up. You pick your witch. Your witch has a familiar. The familiar flies around you and does multiple things, such as deflect bullets and uh, has two different firing modes. You have pre-rendered graphics which are either to your taste or they're not. And this game here, this mode, seems to take advantage of the higher res rendered graphics that are on the 360, because there is a, a low res arcade style port as well. Uh, yeah, the, I don't like the graphics much, but what I do like about this game is the soundtrack is awesome. And especially, well, I think it's the forest level that's got my favourite back in tune. And the gameplay is lovely. You kind of shoot stuff, you dodge loads of bullets eventually. And the first level obviously takes it a little easier. And you collect lots of skulls. And when you collect enough skulls, you can activate a button, which gives you even more bonuses when you blow shit up. It's kind of fun. And you have smart bombs, which. Again, I always forget to use smart bombs and shoot bombs. And uh, I might use a smart bomb here, if I remember. But as you can see, it's kind of readable, even though there's loads of shit flying around the screen. And we're in Halloween Town, so there's pumpkins everywhere. Lovely stuff. Uh, the enemy bullets are highly visible, purple and blue. They do fire some yellow stuff at you later, and the yellow stuff on the higher difficulty levels. Uh, can be deflected by a little familiar there. The boss music is brilliant as well. Love it, love it, love it. Gotta kill, uh, gotta kill death. How metal is that? And uh, oh yeah, you can. You have to press a button to fire left or right, which is unusual. Some firing modes or some witches. Uh, lock the familiar in place so you can kind of put it around where you want to on the screen then lock it in base place by holding the fire button down. Other familiars will com completely uh, ignore that and just rotate around you regardless. Uh, so pick your favourite character. I like the fire, the fire witch and the death witch. I think this is the death witch. This background is quite nice. I like this background. Uh, for pre-rendered graphics, it's not hideous. Uh, some of the backgrounds seem to be hand-painted. Uh, there's a bit of digitised stuff in here as well, so it's got that weird 
kind of mishmash of sort of styles. It kind of hangs together. But you're not playing this game for the visuals, I don't think. Though some of the bosses are quite well animated. I think what the 3D does give the game is a lot of animation, which is fine. There's also the alpha going on, as you can see. So yeah, Switch is GPU getting a proper workout there. Oh yes, the Switch's GPU is being stressed to within an inch of his life with full screen alpha blended particle effects. Uh, that's very interesting. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was technical me. He appeared and he said some stuff. And he's back in the box. Blow this person's house up. There you didn't like your house being blown up, did you? The evil witch. Not just use a smartphone by accident. Hmm. Yes, I was, I was meant to press that button there. So I had a thousand, collected a thousand icons. I pressed the press the button now, which has changed the scoring mode. And you can see the uh, numbers are counting down there. And it's giving me bigger bonuses when I shoot shit, which is cool. Um, what happens if you get hit? Uh, actually, whilst you're all trying to make that. Uh, trying to get a thousand skulls, uh, you lose skulls for getting hit, so you lose energy. There's no lives on this, you've got an energy bar there. And you lose skulls when you get hit. The energy bar can be extended by things that you find in the levels. There's like a food item which will give you an extra, extra bar of energy, which is all well and good. Anyway, first Death Smiles is awesome. Love the game played it many, many times, and it's cool on the Switch too. This is Death Smiles 2, and we have a cartoon intro. We have a doe-eyed... Uh, what would you call it? I think that's a witch with an umbrella. Like evil red, blood red eyes. And this is set at Christmas, rather than Halloween. Beautiful. And, uh, this was the beginning of the nightmare that was the holiest of nights. On that holiest of nights. No way! There's shit going down. Oh, these old people, it's a dead old man. Mm, I think the granddad character was the guy at the end of the first game. He'd been possessed. Oh, look at his Satan claws. Oh no! He's got glowy eyes. He's got a uh, Japanese voiceover. That's nice. Naughty to the ore. How strange. And, uh, the perfume people. The little girl's already served her purpose. Mm. He's stealing all the presents. Son of a. What a bastard. Uh, that's what, too. So we've got 3D graphics in this game instead of your 2D sprites. And, uh, yeah, it's still a bit weird looking. We've got books here, I don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got range mode, arcade mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just play the game, please. Oh, you think, you think. Mm -hmm. Got some options there. Uh, sort of a tedious option menu, which book based. I didn't. Play games to read books. Play games to shoot shit. Uh, we've got a small screen here. Hmm. Satan claws. Yeah. We're going to be in so much trouble. Mm. Uh, yes. It's a tedious story, but can we just get onto the shooting action, please? Can we shoot some things with high-powered weaponry, please? I don't like the border I've got here around the gameplay window. A bit weird. Um, if you can get past the strange witch based uh, artwork and borders, because I've got to say, I'm not a fan of that, and just concentrate really on the game. Uh, both of these games, actually, as I think might do well, but you might like witches, kind of weird teenage witches, you might like that as an aesthetic. Mm, not sure I do. These 3D graphics are crappy, I would say, in my professional estimation. Uh, we've got, some, you know, we've got some buildings and things. We've got some sprite-based stuff going on, but 
Yeah, well, the first game looks like a waxy pre-render. This one looks like low-end. Well, it kind of looks like a low-end Dreamcast game, really. I don't know what this arcade machine was that they released this game on. But it looks fairly Dreamcasty, stroke PS2 style. Possibly not PS2 because it's a bit too textural. Oh yes, it's a bit too textural. The uh, PS2 only had four megabytes of RAM to store textures, whereas your Dreamcast had 16 megabytes. That's very interesting, isn't it? Um, instead of a cow, we're shooting a reindeer. That's changing shit up, isn't it? And we've got Satan Claus himself and his sledge. As you'll notice, there's quite a lot of bullets on the screen, and only the very centre of your witch base character is sensitive to a weaponry or ordnance coming your way. So, you've got a small hitbox and a lot of bullets flying around, although they're quite slow, so that's cool. This game plays quite well. Uh, it's not hitting me in the feels as much as the first Death Smiles game, but it's nice to have it on here, I guess. So once you get good at the first game, you clock the first game a few times. Maybe you'd take a take a little jaunt down to Death Smiles 2 and see what's going on in Death Smiles 2 Town. But um, what I would say is um, it's uglier than the first one, which is going some. Well done there, Cave. The frame rate's taken a massive hit here. I don't know if it's just the video or me watching the video back. It's weird. Probably just the video is running at a weird rate at the moment. So I'm, I'm talking over a recording of the video. I'm sure this is all running at a entirely different rate. In actuality. Black in the background. Yeah, not a looker, is it? I believe this. Uh, both of these games came out on the Japanese Xbox 360. But only the original Death Smiles came out on the PAL one. And it might be worth a few pop now. It came out with a soundtrack. Uh, for the soundtrack CDs and the game as a special edition. It was a lovely little package. Uh, but yeah, I think Japan got Death Mars 2 on a separate disc. Would it have been worth it? Not entirely sure. Similar, very similar game, just very ugly. Yeah, anyway, um, that's basically my review of this game. I'd love Death Smiles. Ever since I played it on the Dreamcast, the original game is great fun. The sequel looks like it's more of the same, but with slightly worse graphics. So you can't go wrong with that. And at the moment on Amazon, it's fairly cheap. And like I said, um, you get like a postcard in there, and there's a bit, little bit of a instruction book, which is unusual these days. But it's nice that they've gone the extra mile with that. So yeah, if you like bullet hell shooters featuring odd witchy characters rendered in weird styles, then this is the game for you. Right then, that's Death Smiles. Death Smiles. I like it. I recommend it. Right then, to roll.